This is definitely the craziest English lesson I've ever done. I need to be quiet because my family is still sleeping, but in today's English lesson, we are going to take the longest road trip I have ever taken by myself. We're gonna go about 900 miles from my state of Maine all the way down to North Carolina. Tonight, I plan on sleeping in a Walmart parking lot in my car to save money. Plus, it's a little bit of an adventure. Probably tomorrow morning, wake up and shower at a Planet Fitness, and then tomorrow night, attend a concert, Dave Matthews Band, to hear the first notes they have played in almost a year and a half. Because of the crazy stuff we had to do in 2020, the band didn't play. So I wanna be there for their opening notes of a new tour and I want you to come along with me. And of course, we are going to make sure that you improve your English along the way. Just backing out of my driveway right now. So my biggest nightmare for this trip, well, maybe I have two, one, is traffic hopefully we don't have any traffic jams along the way hopefully we don't hit too many bumps along the way um, bumps literally there are bumps in the road but also problems that happen to you you can call those bumps as well but hopefully we don't have too many bumps and I hope we don't ever get a flat tire because a flat tire is when the air from your tire, like your tire loses air for some reason. Maybe you run over a nail. And if we have a flat tire, that is going to be a major bump in the road and will probably cause us to be delayed. We won't get to our destination on time. Let's hope we have no flat tires. Some people might say that I just jinxed myself. When you jinx yourself, it means you say something bad and because you said it, it's going to happen. So right at the beginning of our trip, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that flat tire, but if we get a flat tire, it's my fault. I just jinxed us. We are officially on the highway. We just got on by the on-ramp. That's what we call it when you get on the highway. It's a road that's kind of curved, but it's kind of straight that allows you to build up the speed that you are going to need for the highway. And I am traveling at about 70 miles an hour. That's the speed limit on the highway in Maine. Each state might have a different speed limit. Like I know we'll be going through New York. New York's speed limit is 55 miles per hour. That's the, the most you can go in the state of New York. Hey Siri, get directions to Scranton, Pennsylvania. Getting directions to Scranton. All right, it looks like we got about six hours and 18 minutes. Okay, Siri. We got about six hours and 18 minutes to get to Scranton. So that'll be our first major stop that we do. There'll be other stops along the way for bathroom breaks, but I want to go to Scranton first, not because the office takes place in Scranton, if you're a fan of the TV show, but what I want to do is avoid all the traffic that I would run into in New York City and Philadelphia. So what we're doing on our route down to North Carolina is we're taking the long way around. And the reason I wanna do that is because I think it will be quicker even though I will have to travel more miles. There will be fewer traffic jams and I think a lot fewer headaches. You may know um, when you have a, a, a head that's hurting, we call it a headache. 
but we also call problems that we have headaches running into a lot of traffic in new york city would be a big headache for me i would rather go around travel more miles but have fewer headaches We just went through a toll booth. It may not have looked like a toll booth. It may not have looked like I paid anything, but I did because of this easy pass in the video I made about road trips, I held it upside down. But um, this helped me pay for the tolls. And yeah, this highway that I'm on, we call it the main turnpike. It actually charges a fee for you to use the road and we call that fee a toll. One thing you can do on long car rides is to have a sing-along to make the time go a little bit more quickly. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Let it shine until tomorrow, let it be. We're still in the state of Maine, but if you saw the size of that drink I was drinking, I need to use the bathroom. So we are going to visit a rest area right alongside the turnpike or the highway. So if you're ever on a road trip and you need to use the bathroom, another way you can say, I need the bathroom is, hey, I need to make a pit stop. A pit stop, usually used in car racing when cars need to stop and get more tires, but we also have it as another term for, I need to use the bathroom. All right, next state is New Hampshire. We made it, New Hampshire. And right when you enter the state of New Hampshire, there is a liquor store because what goes better than drinking and driving? But of course, we are not going to drink today. I have too many miles to go. And of course, uh, drinking and driving is never a good thing, but it's kind of weird. There is a liquor store, big one, right on the side of the highway. They still have payphones here. Does anybody still use a payphone? It's a 
about 8.30. So we're here a little early. The liquor store is not even open. So the bathrooms are closed. We're gonna have to use a porta potty. I'm, I'm not happy about this, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. Well, that was fun. Next stop, Massachusetts. We made it to Massachusetts. Next stop, Connecticut. Thankfully, we don't have to go through Boston. Lots of traffic right now. It's almost nine o'clock. We are going around Boston. We're actually going to a city called Worcester, and uh, it's but it's not spelled like Worcester. It's kind of weird, and uh, hopefully that will help us avoid some traffic. We are now at a rest stop or rest area in Massachusetts. And one of the things people like to do on long road trips is to stretch their legs. You'll hear that term a lot. When you're driving and you're seated, your legs can start to hurt. So you might stop at a rest area just to stretch your legs, walk around a little bit, then get back in the car, drive some more. Well, we made it to Connecticut. Almost every state, when you enter it from the highway, they'll have a little welcome center for you and there will be information on things you can do in that state. And right now, I'm in the Connecticut Welcome Center. And almost all of these welcome areas will have a picnic area so families can eat lunch or dinner, maybe even breakfast at the picnic tables. Restrooms are closed, so it looks like another porta potty. That is a hummingbird feeder. Shout out to Adriana in Poland because she told me that hummingbirds don't exist in Europe. I think so. And unfortunately, there are no hummingbirds today. There's a little trail right at this rest area here in Connecticut. So I say, let's go see where the trail leads to. I think it leads to the river. It says to close and latch the gate, but you can't latch it for some reason. Latch is another way to say, it's almost like lock, but other people can get in. So latch means to hold it secure, maybe so the wind doesn't pull that gate open, but can't latch it.
It is super muddy right at the river's edge. I would hate to fall in this river, so I am not going to go any closer, but certainly beautiful and certainly buggy. Lots of bugs down here in the shade where the sun doesn't hit. What a great place to stop for part one. We hit all of the New England states except for Vermont and Rhode Island. The next state is going to be New York. If you want to see more of that, there's going to be a link to part two right up there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.